G'day folks, this is another type of uh, or variety of bean that we're growing and it's commonly called a snake bean. Uh, the reason being for that is that they do grow very long. Um, a couple of harvests a couple of days ago uh, were over two feet long and uh, this one here will give you some indication on the length of them. That's uh, where it actually starts to grow on the stem and if I just uh, pan down that's the overall length of this particular bean they're edible, uh, eat them raw or cooked the uh, flower for these uh, looks looks like this, I'll just find one that's uh, Got a bit of light. I'm in the morning sun at the moment. Uh, this is what the the flower looks like. A very pale purple flower. And they normally uh, flower in pairs on the end of the uh, the stem. You can see there we've got one flower there and there's the other the other one that beside it has been pollinated and uh, you can just see the the bean there where my thumb is. Uh, that's just starting to grow. Um, these are climber beans, uh, very prolific. In fact, these ones uh, have actually started to grow through the bird netting. We've had some good storm rains in uh, the last couple of weeks, and it's really pushed them along. And uh, I remember as a kid, these were quite common with home gardeners and uh, I didn't particularly like the taste of the time. They do have a flavour of their own. Um, if uh, going to eat them, uh, it's best to pick them while they're still very young on the vine, on the creeper, uh, because as they uh, get a bit older and more mature, the flavour uh, can be a bit over overpowering. So uh, these are the snake beans. Uh, they do very well, and do they, they do crop very well. They do take uh, quite a while to grow, uh, these were planted about two months ago, but having said that, we've had a lot of hot, dry weather, and uh, it might have uh, slowed the growth down a bit. But since we've had the storm rains in the last couple of weeks, some good falls of rain, it's uh, really pushed it along. And uh, that's the, the type of uh, creeper, so you really need some sort of trellising for them. In fact, this one is actually, uh, I've had bird netting put over the garden to keep them out of the, the rest of the veggies. And uh, you might be able to see there on camera where it's actually growing through the bird netting. Uh, oddly enough, um, we've had troubles with some of our other varieties of beans where the birds have been getting into them. and. Uh, after the seeds in them, but uh, these snake beans, they, they've left them alone. So whether it's the flavour or, or something like that, I, I really don't know. But that's the upside of it. There's another, another flower in there. Very, very pretty flower. And there's, uh, there's another one that's starting to bud up there. Alright folks, so that's snake beans. Don't often see them in the supermarkets as a commercial product now and I don't know that they're all that popular with home gardeners compared to when I was a kid. But uh, it's just another variety. We like to uh, try different varieties. And they produce at different times, so it gives us a fairly good supply of, of beans over the, the growing season of different varieties. So uh, these have come up very well. All right, folks. See you later.